वेलकम बैक आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल एंड हेल्दी ड्यूरिंग हार टाइम वी मस्ट नॉट लूज होप विद दिस इन माइंड आई एम बैक विद सम न्यू वोकेबलरीज इफ यू आर न्यू हेयर मेक श्योर टू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन बिफोर गेटिंग स्टार्टेड लेट मी टेल यू वॉट यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन दिस वीडियो In this video you are going to learn five vocabularies synonym antonym meaning in english and nepali pronunciation and use in sentence let's get started this is a probability first vocabulary is perception Perception means idea that is taken to be true on the basis of probability. When you take uh, an idea which is not proven to be true and you are taking that idea on the basis of the probability that it might be true. You don't have any type of facts or evidence to to prove that the idea is true you just act on the your own assumption that action is rejection its another meaning is that behavior of arrogant or disrespectful one some fails to observe that what kind of behavior is is permitted is is appropriate in certain situation when someone is not uh, fail to when someone is unknown to that what kind of behavior is respectful to behave in a certain way in a certain situation a synonym is audacity or arrogance Antonym, unassuming or timid. Timid personality, the shyness. Example, our perception on this matter saves us from great loss. Our perception, our instinct, saved us from the great loss. Well, I never knew when I could not. कुरा को लाई अनुमान को भर में विश्वास कर जो कुरा सही हो वा हो तथ्य न भईकन तैंट विचार लिखा भिजेपन नेक्स्ट को कैबलरी इज एभोर एभोर मीन्स रिगार्ड विथ डिस्कस्ट एंड हेट्रेड वन यू सो डिस्कस्टिंग बिहेवियर और हेट्रेड टू आर समथिंग और सम वन द स्ट्रंग फिलिंग अफ हेट्रेड नेपाली में इस रिस एकदम धीरे रिस सीनोनियम सीनोनियम इज लोथिंग और डिस्पाइस This antonym is love or admire. Example: He abhors his brother. This means he hates his brother. Next vocabulary is splotch. Splotch means make a dab or smear, especially with a liquid. Through the picture, you can see that. What kind of smearing or dabbing is splotch? That kind of mark or dot are splotch. Synonym: marks or dots. It also means the dot marks or certain have a splotching mark with a liquid or or certain other thing. But especially, it is used for liquid. Dagger. 
Example, she has crosses all over the space, which means that she has the uh, uh, spot, certain type of spot all over all over her face. Next vocabulary is transient. Transient means lasting only for a short time. When something or someone will last remain for a short period of time, it means transition. It's like Nepali Vavanja Chani or Istha. A synonym is impermanent temporary or ephemeral. Its antonym is permanent or constant, sadhira, long-lasting. Example, he is in transient relationship, which means that he is in temporary relationship with someone. Next vocabulary is remunerate. Remunerate means think deeply about something. Remunerate something. When you think about something or someone deeply, it means remunerate. You are remunerate. It's another meaning is chewing cord. Chewing cord means a chewing bag through the picture and uh, there is a it is a picture of a cow and its internal body are so and here it is shown that the cow has the multiple uh, bags of stomach it means the animal who have multiple one or two stomach patches in their body those animals are also called remnant they have the separate uh, separate small stomach not like ours they have two or more uh, stomach which helps them to digest their food it mostly found in the cattle which helps them to acquire the nutrients from by storing it in, in food. When you observe and or cattle, cattle like mm, hen, cow, sheep, goat, uh, they first they take the food and later on while they are rest, resting, you, you observe that they are again chewing it again. The synonym is mull over or give consideration to. It means thinking once again. And it also means the, the ruminate animals. Those animals who have multiple uh, the bags of stomach. Its antonym is ignorant person who is ignorant who does not think about anything example we should ruminate on this idea once again it means that we should think once again in this idea now it's time to practice pronunciation. Before getting started in this pronunciation session, I would like to tell you that here we practice as for how the speaker, the native speaker, speak uh, rather than the spelling. As we found in many English words, they are pronounced differently uh, than how they are. You have already observed that the pronunciation is totally different than how it is spelled. Let's get started. 
First vocabulary: rejection, rejection. This word is uh, pronounced as per how it is written, so it is not confusing. Rejection. Next vocabulary: abhor, abhor. Here you have already noticed I have written as for how it is pronounced rather than how it is spelled. Splotch. Transient. Transient. Next. Ruminate. 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 With this, our video is come to an end, and I would like to leave you with some practice. Today's practice: what you are going to do after learning this. Make at least one or two sentences of the words that you have just learned. Plus. Uh, use the antonym words uh, to make a sentence as well and try to practice these pronunciation the trick that I have just taught let me just wrap up by saying this I wish you good luck I'm sure this video is useful to you to improve your vocabulary make sure to like comment and share this video if you haven't subscribed make sure to hit the subscribe button below and click on the bell icon for instant notification if you enjoyed this video and you feel it's valuable in teaching you share with your friends and anyone else who might benefit this information thank you so much for watching see you next time with new vocabularies until then stay safe and remain healthy bye